In this video, we will talk about um, bag of words and how we can use that to create a automatic grading of essays. So, what is bag of words is simple, uh, it actually uh, picks the frequency of words, a uh, lot of words are occurring in the sentences, it uh, picks each word how many times it occurs. So, you can put that in the bag of words frequency and uh, this also can be used to find the similar words uh, like we saw to find the similar words. So, so, if you have similar words, find the similar words first and put that in the bag of words because some students might uh, write in a wrong uh, spelling or something. And uh, so, sparse vector, I will talk about what is sparse vector in detail. So, what happens first is um, remove the, the running letters, so remove all this in and uh, articles, proportions, uh, conjunction words, if you remove it or it is up to you how much you want to remove it. And uh, correct the sentence spelling correctly um, like using the similarity words that is very important. And you have to create a dictionary, uh, that dictionary should have uh, all the words uh, with the frequency of words occurring in the dictionary. Let us uh, look at what is bag of words in detail uh, in this slide. Okay. Sentence 1 says students interact with peers in class, okay. students are interacting with the peers in the class. Peers, peer instruction increases students interest, okay. something like that. Um, Let us say bag of words of sentence 1, uh, the word student occurred one time, interact occurred once, with occurred once, peer occurred once, in occurred once, class occurred once, that is a bag of word of sentence 1. Second sentence, uh, some student would have wrote uh, sentence 2, uh, peer occurred once, instruction occurred once, increase occurred once, students occurred once, interest occurred once. Uh, see I just wrote a word in a form given in the sentence. What you can do is you can go lemma or a stem form of it, so the root form or a stemmed form of it that reduces this, uh, the, the length of this vector. I will talk about how big the vector is going to be, it is not easy. So, that also possible right, uh, let us look at that. So, if I come, if the two sentence I want to create a one bag of word for this uh, two sentences, student occurred twice, to one time here, one time here, interact occurred once, with occurred once, peer occurred twice, in class once, since all of, all of them are others occurred once. Okay. So, hope you understand this particular uh, uh, set I created from these two sentences. Okay. Uh, that is very, very basic, that is that is all about bag of words, very, very basic you have to understand this how this uh, set has been created from these sentences. I have just counted uh, whether it is occurring uh, once or twice and each word, all the individual words, the unique words are in the sentence, I have just counted how many times it occurred, that is the frequency of words occurring in the thing. Similar words uh, can have a frequency can be increased. Okay. So, I have bag of word sentence uh, for the two sentences, now I have the same two sentence. Consider this is my um, dictionary or this is a complete set I have, the set has 8 words. Okay. The first word is student, second word is interact, okay. now, now you understand uh, I removed, um, I, uh, I removed the uh, what to say, um, I removed the word in in it, okay. in is not here. What I did, I gave a position for each word. Instead of uh, taking the word and putting its frequency, I have a dictionary. My dictionary has only 8 words, just 8 words, students interact with peer class instruction increases interest, that is it, just 8 words I have in my dictionary. The sentences coming out of this dictionary, I need to find, uh, I need to create the numerical form of the sentences. If I have this dictionary, okay, this, I can say students is the first position in this dictionary, so 1. Okay. Uh, second portion is, second word is interact, is it interact uh, exist in the sentence 1? Yes, it exists, if it exists mark it as 1, if it does not exist mark it as 0. With exists in sentence 1? Yes, it exists, uh, third one. Fourth one, peer, is peer exist in this sentence? Yes, fourth one, peers, peer is exist. Class exists? Yes, class exists. Instruction? No, not exist, sixth word is 0, increases not exist. So, my vector of sentence 1 is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. So, if someone asks me, can you form the sentence? Okay. But the sentence as students interact with peer uh, class, that is it. That is the words this particular sentence has. It is not important about uh, the order, okay, the student occurred first, okay, I will tell about that, why okay, that is very important. But what are the words uh, from the dictionary exist in this? So, like see, Sentence 1 has a 5 words, 
from this dictionary. The position of the word is also given 11100. So, it is easy if you have 110 uh, for machine learning to classify because 1 or 0 is very simple. Sentence 2 uh, have a student in it. So, student is here, it is not the first position. That is what I am saying. The order of position is not important in bag of words. Student is 1, 0, uh, 0, interest is not there, width is not there, peer is there, okay. And the class is not there, instructions increases, instruction is 6. So, it is simple, right? What I am trying to explain is very simple. So, 1, I am just putting the order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, hope you understand what I am talking right. So, it is basically sentence 1, sentence 2 and uh, which uh, like which uh, words are occurring um, like in the sentence. Consider uh, you have many students writing these kind of sentences say 5 sentences they are writing. So, if you combine the word you might get the bag of word dictionary of 1000 or sometimes 100,000 or sometimes it goes to even million because uh, if you consider all the forms of the words the dictionary will go big okay. If the dictionary goes to the all the existing words in English plus different forms they occur, okay. It is very, very huge. So, this can go to a big vector. But uh, let us take 1000 words, you know, let us take it as 1000 words. If it is 1000 words and uh, if it is 1000 words and uh, your students write a sentence like this. Uh, so, so, consider uh, there are 6 words in this sentence and there are a lot of zeros up to 1000. It is not just not 3 0 like a 0. So, it is like a up to 1000 it is a 0. Uh, this vector is called a sparse vector you know uh, it is just only out of 1000 only 5 words are there. So, it is not a complete vector like only sparse vector. So, in order to avoid the sparseness uh, in, the, in, the, in the vector or the sentence formation we can also use the index instead of uh, the particular position you can mark the index. For example, student occurred in the index number 1, uh, interact occurred in index number 2, uh, width occurred in index number 3, peer index number 4, class and so on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 6, 7, 1. So, instead of uh, writing uh, each and every vector in a, in a complete dictionary form like this, you can only say how many words that particular sentence are. This word only have a 5 sentence, this word only have a 4 sentence, something like that. It is simple to put that, you know. It is uh, very easy, uh, uh, the sparseness has gone, but uh, even this is also a, have a complexity on its own. Let us see uh, what is the problem there. So, which means you need write a program, the first dictionary has been there with the indexed, uh, then hashing the, then you can take for sentence 1 and sentence 2, then uh, we can only use the index that is enough for uh, representing that particular sentence. Why we are doing this uh, sentence represented as a numbers? Because when you give the words to a machine learning classifier like um, Naibase or, uh, or a decision tree, uh, they will not able to understand these words, okay. decision tree will not work here, okay. Naibase or some other classifiers, SVM or something. They will not take these words and say uh, undo it. Instead, you have to convert the words into a particular numerical form. That numerical form can be converted using this kind of uh, bag of words approach. Let us look at uh, this where it can be applied. Hope you understand there are two sentences and uh, we can convert into words. Let us look at this. If you have 100 students uh, writing essay and uh, the, uh, you are validated that essay by the human experts like, uh, like two, three teachers validated the essay into a very good, excellent uh, uh, or average, poor, something like that. Okay, You have uh, automatically graded them. If you want to create an automatic algorithm to grade this essays, what you do do? So, consider what you learned in the previous slide, right? Can you use that knowledge to create a automated uh, essay grading system? That is only that bag of words approach and uh, similarity approaches. Can you think of it? Uh, take a moment, uh, think about it, uh, write your steps, what you exactly do. After you do that, uh, assume to continue. Okay, um, there is no response here, instead I want to uh, explain that. Uh, Let us see how it goes, okay. Student 1 wrote some sentence, okay, I liked coffee, something like that. Um, suppose they say it is about uh, coffee, so I like uh, the coffee, uh, um, I prefer roast level 
three or medium or four, four is good. Okay, anyway, so and from some country, so Angelos, something like that. Okay, you just can write it. Uh, student says that coffee is not good for health. Okay, maybe someone don't like coffee. Or someone says coffee is very important, it's good for water, all these things coming. So, there are like 100 students wrote this kind of a essay about coffee and you have a teacher grading that and say that this is a good uh, average, okay, good average poor, only 3 grades, let us say the 3 grades, good average poor you are creating it. Now, the idea is you have to create a bag of words, okay. From all this 100 sentences, uh, you have to identify all the unique words and put that in a one dictionary. So, the bag of word for the big sentence because I like coffee, prefer roast, okay, sorry uh, for my handwriting, I am just uh, um, prefer um, roast level. So, uh, now you might see what is this I am talking about, I am talking about a bigram. So, okay, if you put all the words together, you are just actually creating a bigram and the frequency can be used, but instead of using frequency, let us say this exact uh, one set I am creating, one set of dictionary from the, all the existing words you are creating. Once you have that, uh, I am going to do student 1, it is a ID. Uh, student 1 as uh, uh, so some vector 1011001110 some sparse vector with the label good. Student 2 have average. something like that okay it is uh, okay for so the idea is now what you have is uh, your sentences the students essays has been converted into a matrix with a label good average poor there are three things you have it uh, so there are three uh, so not a binary classifier so three uh, multi classic classifiers so three classes here and you have, uh, you have a student ID and you have the features, okay. The feature is, uh, feature is not one, the feature is uh, the, cent the length of this dictionary. The dictionary can go to 5000 or 10,000. That big dictionary you have, you have this. This is a basic form of automatically grading your essays. What you have to do, you have 100 students data and you have done all this grading. You have to take a 10th fold cross validation, train the system. Uh, and uh, test it on the uh, 10 times, 10 iterative times and you create a some accurate classifier, okay, which automatically feed any essay, it will give you the average good or poor. So, you do not need to do it from the next time. It is very simple uh, basic form I was talking about, but it will not yield a good result, you know. Uh, but uh, you can check up the latest papers uh, and uh, try to understand what they do. That is very interesting uh, if you can do that. And, uh, I just want to tell one more thing, any form of machine learning classifier we are doing in a supervised classification is this is the form that is um, uh, uh, a matrix of features x1, x2, x3 and uh, there is a weight we want to find out, uh, weight associated with uh, x1 till xn equal to the label, label, label can be multi class like a binary class or multi class, okay. So, that is exactly what I will be, uh, it is why, it is just why, label. So, what I am trying to say is it is uh, exactly the form of machine learning college, this is exactly what we did in matrix uh, in our schooling time, right. So, that is exactly uh, what are the basic form of machine learning. If you can imagine any problem into this particular form and able to apply. Uh, you can understand that what is algorithm, how it works, everything is easy to understand. So, um, if you want to go in detail about that form, not every matrix have the uh, perfect solution, right. So, if you do not have perfect solution, you have to find the nearest solution. 
that is exactly what is happening in the machine learning. So, not every problem have a perfect solution to class put, put the weights to exactly match the words there. So, we have to identify the nearest possible solution that is global minimal solution like with the least possible error. Uh, some classifier is able to do it, some classifier is not able to do it. So, that is why the way uh, performance in the classifiers varies based on the way they approach. Okay. Hope you understand uh, what is bag of words and how to use uh, bag of words uh, for automatically grade essay. If you have uh, students uh, done assignments and you have graded them automatically uh, or if you graded them using your teachers or your friends graded them uh, the assignments or uh, the marks. Uh, take that as the input and uh, convert that into a bag of words like a big uh, dictionary and uh, create the and if you have 100 students that is very good. So, it is a simple scripts can help you to convert them and you can check it out whether you can create automated get a system or not it is very easy to do. Uh, if you are uh, from this course start if you are trying to understand programming this is a very good um, simple example to learn and try it out because identifying the set of uh, dictionary or their index is not uh, tough at all it is very, very easy it is uh, it's very possible in a pandas library. So, yeah, try it out and uh, check it out whether it works or not. Thank you.